Megan is with us in Ohio. Hi, Megan. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. Thanks so much for back in with me. Um, so, my husband and I are debt free, and we have a fully funded uh, six month emergency fund. We just put in um, a cash offer that was accepted on our first, what would be our first home. And it's a HUD foreclosure, um, which we're, we're learning more and more about. The problem and our hesitation with it is that pretty much the entire um, offer, if we go through with this, is like all the money that we have aside from our emergency fund. And it's in a great location. We really love it. It's uh, close to my family, close to my husband's job. Um, but there's quite a bit of work that needs to be done on it. Mostly cosmetic, as far as we know right now. There might be um, some bigger things, like there's baseball sheets, which we don't like. Um, no AC. Um, there's in ground pool in the back, which we have a little daughter, which we're not crazy about. So some things like that that we really have to take our time to save up the cash to fix in the future, but we do see ourselves probably being there for a number of years. So, and two, what's really appealing about it is a lot of the homes in the area are worth $100,000 more than what we'd be paying for this house. Um, so it's been a really, a really great location. We just don't know what to do. <laughs> and you talked at the beginning of the show about... If you about, don't know why did you, um, what to do, why did you buy it? Why did you put an offer on it? Well, the location is really great. It's and, right now? Uh, I mean, but you already made all your decisions. You bought the house. Yeah. Um, I guess we can go back out, you know, kind of the inspection. Yeah, I know. But um, why did you go this far if you were this unsure? I guess we weren't in the beginning. We've been looking at so many houses. and Well, I, I mean, I'm worried about the in-ground pool. I'm worried about the baseboard yeah. heat. I'm worried about the work that has to be done. It's all of our yeah. money. Where were all these decisions? Those were all things that were obvious before you bought the house. Yeah, yeah, they were. They were. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Yeah, and that's, that's my hesitation with it, and that's, that's why I'm a little scared. So I guess so our decision So was this something like your husband decided to do and you were like half going along with? Uh -huh. No, 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 no. We were both in it, and I think we both had a bit of house fever in the beginning of it for sure. And yeah. you know, when Okay, we so what would you be paying happened, for the house? One hundred and forty-eight thousand. One hundred and forty-eight, and you think homes in the area are worth two fifty? Mm -hmm, or more. Yeah, there's a lot of new. And what will it take around. to repair this house? Um, I I would say at least ten thousand. I would say more. I, I think so, yeah. you got to put heating yeah. and air in a house. Mm-hmm, mm hmm Heat and air system yeah. alone is probably going to, you know, touch up. I mean, you got duct work and everything because you have baseboard heat, right? right. It's, yeah, it's not easy yeah. to... And you got cosmetic. That. Is the roof good? I think so, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we haven't had the home inspection And you're paying yet. cash for the house. Yeah, we would What's be. your household income? Uh, sixty-five. Sixty-five thousand. And where did you get one hundred and forty-eight thousand dollars? We just saved like crazy over the past couple years, um, and just found your stuff. What's your husband do for a living? He's um, a technical product manager. Um, who's and who's going to do these repairs? Well, my father is a contractor um, and a carpenter. Um, so he would help. Um, we do some ourselves, um, hire people as well. Yeah. What are you living in now? An apartment. It's a month-to-month -month apartment. Mm -hmm. So you're going to stay there a little while while you get some of these repairs done? Um, it's livable right now, so we could move into it um, as far as we know. Much harder to do repairs around you. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. and it wouldn't be ideal like, to be paying rent on this apartment while we, you know, own a house and are working on that. Yeah. How old are you two? Uh, thirty-two. I'm thirty-two. He's thirty-four. Okay. All right. I can't tell whether you've gotten cold feet or whether you don't know how to make decisions. I can't tell what's going on. I really can't tell. Because um, you bought a house, you bought a house, yeah. you made the decision to spend the money that you have, that you've, the precious money that you've saved up down to the last dollar, which means you have to cash flow out of your budget the money for the repairs, and now you're freaking out. 
um, and I can't tell what's causing that. Uh, you, you, you really should be like embracing the adventure and excited, or you should have not entered into this deal in the first place. One of the two, but this kind of half in half out thing, I can't figure out. So I don't really know what to tell you. Uh, I would tell you that repairs cost more than you think they're going to. They take longer than you think they're going to. And doing repairs while you live in a home is known as hell. Doing a remodel while you live there causes sawdust to be in your soup. And it just takes the fun out of everything. Everything smells like dirt while you're living there. And drywall dust and paint fumes and the normal things that go with remodeling a house. I don't mind remodeling a house, but remodeling a house while you live in it is a complete pain in the butt. So, um, you know, I think you guys need to sit back and decide, are we going to walk away from this and be happy about walking away from it? Or are we going to embrace this and be happy about embracing it? And I'm okay either way. I didn't hear anything here that scares me that bad, except that you're scared. That's what's weird.